All right, this is uh, this it's like awesome. a, a show panel setup. All right, it's kind of a got a temporary wiring on it, but we just set it up here so I have a a quick uh, display. Uh, the water temperature in here is at about 82 degrees right now. The panel's been sitting out in the sun for maybe like an hour or so. Just to kind of demonstrate real quick. Um, see right now, that's it's an infrared thermometer. We can see on the top, we got about a surface temperature of 130 degrees. You know, down here, it's a little bit less, 127 and a half. Uh, the panel hasn't been out that long in the sun now, and it's a little bit of cloudy today. And you can you come around back here. Let's just see how hot it is. Right, right now, the panel is producing uh, 25.7 volts. Okay, the batteries are being charged by it. Okay, it's not running off the battery. Um, if we go ahead and uh, put some load on it, we turn on the lights. You can see how the voltage drops. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and. and uh, connect the, the water and as the water runs through okay we're gonna just connect the pump the pump's gonna turn on now you go ahead and watch the, the voltage as the water runs through it starts cooling the panel which increases the efficiency of the of the PV okay oh yeah don't want to make it off now once the water keeps running through you'll see how Take a look at it, it'll start climbing up, the more it cools down, it'll start. Yeah, that's already up to 26 volts and steadily climbing. But the efficiency increases dramatically as the, the water cools the, the TV panel. Okay, up to the front, you can see that uh, right now we had a temperature of let's see, 132. It's already down to 118 in just a couple of minutes. Okay, of the water running through the panel, down to about 108 right here. Okay, so we got a, a difference of a good 15 degrees. Why don't you explain why it's important that, you know, we started with the temperature, what was it, about 130? 132, yeah. Yeah, and then once you run the water through it, it's dropped the temperature. Right. And and explain the benefit of that. Okay, I can do this, yeah? Okay. Okay, the benefit about this, this panel was invented by Mr. Bieler in Germany. And uh, the reason was to avoid the sharp fall of energy. When as the silicium the cells getting very hot, they're losing energy. And normally when you go forward and the panel reach over 80 degrees Celsius, every degree more the efficiency of the PV panel will drop a half percent. In and Fahrenheit 80 degrees Celsius is it's 160 degrees. Yeah. yeah, and this is very very easy to reach here in summertime when the sun yeah, roughly, yeah, okay. <laughs> He's yeah. checking my numbers. He's a finance guy, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what I'm saying is, especially when this is a black device and the sun goes here in, in Arizona in summertime, yeah. We did some tests in uh, in Las Vegas, yeah, and yeah. the 27th floor. This panel, you can put the egg on it, yeah. It's immediately ready, yeah. <laughs> Fried egg. <laughs> Fried egg, yeah. And, and we had a 240 degree. And now you understand, well, in this climate zone 4, especially in Arizona, it's not very, very used, no, not very financially interesting, let's call it this way, yeah? to put up solar, a solar PV panel because to the hot weather and the excellent weather here, the panel is getting lost, their efficiency immediately until they shut down. Yeah? And that is now when we are going forward and cool this panel down with a constant temperature of 20 degree, 25 uh, degree, Temperature of water, what is round about uh, 25 is, help me out. I'm, I'm sorry. I okay, was... it's around about 75, <laughs> 78 degree Fahrenheit, yeah? yeah? When we keep this one, in this temperature, this panel will always produce, even under the hottest circumstances, always 100% electricity, yeah? And on top of it, when we set another fluid through and we cool this fluid down, and we cool these cells down, let's say, to 10 degree Celsius is around about 60 degree Fahrenheit, then the 
this panel will have an output of 192 to 194 uh, watts instead of 180. So what we have here is we have a solar panel that is a hybrid panel. It, it's producing power and it's also producing hot water. Yeah, it's so, a byproduct. Yeah. Right, and so the benefit of this panel, not only is it producing power, but it's also producing hot water, which is one of the largest consumers of electricity in the home. And at the same time, the water running through it will make the electricity production more efficient. Exactly. So it's so like you, a... You have a, a more efficient panel producing more power and hot water at the exactly. same time. Yeah. So it, it's kind of blending of, of three good uh, parts of the solar industry yeah. in, into one panel. In one panel. Mm -hmm. Here, let me, let me show the camera what this is. Is The reason we're interested in this and the reason that, that uh, uh, their company has adopted it is, is if you see uh, what happens is everything here is flexible. And so uh, when you're up on a roof working, uh, one of the, the major concerns you have with technology is, is, is how quickly it installs. And so if you're, you know, if a wage is fifty, sixty dollars an hour and you cut the time down from instead of cutting each piece and welding it and cutting it, no, that's too long, you know, now you just do a couple twists and the thing all comes together rapidly in, in just seconds and so you save a lot of time in cutting. And it also avoids the problem of having uh, let's say if something is not 100% exact, you have tension somewhere and now it's flexible. So yes. you can move it around. Right. Means less tension means less proneage to, to anything yeah, leaking. Yeah, and, and it's hard. I, I know how this basically works, uh, but it's hard to get the, you know, when you have the, the parts coming together like that, it's making them, you know, you push the pipe that way and you got to have the pipe go that way too. Right, and, right. and uh, Yeah, and this <laughs> the only thing you need is this shiny little tool. Yeah. goes on one way. Well, do it right here. <clears throat> See, and then all it does, pretty much it just clamps that little lock. Oops, sorry. And then you pull it off. And to put it back on, it just goes on. That's it. And it, yeah. it holds at least three bar. And this technology has been, you've been, been using it for how long was it? In Germany, I think it's around about for 20 years. 20 yeah. years. And uh, they give 50 years warranty on this product. Yeah. So. So it's been around and tested enough and been installed enough that they know it's a, a good, viable, working, working product. So.